A non-governmental organization has expressed concern over the high rates of unsafe abortion by women of reproductive age in Nigeria. The executive director of the foundation, Victoria Mba, expressed a concern on Tuesday and called for more public enlightenment against the practice of unsafe abortion. Victoria spoke of the public awareness to commemorate the International Day of Action on Women's Health. According to the foundation, 33% of women of reproductive age engage in unsafe abortion. In Nigeria, as a whole, it has been discovered that if 1,000 unsafe abortion happen, that 33% um, of the uh, people that have that unsafe abortion would die. So, and this, this has been, it, there has been an increase in the way abortion has been carried out among the young ones, especially the young ones. It's for us to destigmatize abortion and also give people, the, uh, for them to know that there's a provision in the law that uh, the provision in the law that in case of rape, incest, and when the mother's life is at stake, this person is, uh, can walk up to the health facility and obtain the services in a safe way so that we can help reduce the unsafe abortions in different communities. Yeah, the emphasis on pregnancy is just because it's on the increase where we have uh, unsafe abortions on the increase and uh, we need to educate the general public again. What are the consequences of uh, unsafe uh, pregnancy and again what are the challenges young people are facing you know we are in the area whereby we need to sort of suki for them they need to have people they can rely uh, when they have issues and challenges within their peers they can act, uh, equally have that access to people to discuss about it so we want to reduce that unsafe abortion that's why we keep talking about access to women's health especially the younger people uh, we should always have focus on whatever we do and we should make our parents our best friends because they are the ones that can tell us the truth. Any other person would, would not really tell you what your parents would do. And I advise our parents too to be best friends of their children.